The Toy Maker and His Daughter. Long, long ago, there lived a poor toy maker called Caleb with his daughter in a small town. Caleb's daughter Bertha was born blind, and as a father, he had vowed to turn her lack of vision into a blessing. My daughter has enough woe. I shall not add to it and instead make her believe she has a beautiful, beautiful life. Papa, what is this? Oh, this? It is a beautiful princess doll, just for my little princess. Is she prettier than I? Is her dress prettier than mine? Oh, no. She is not as pretty as you are, and nor is her dress as grand as yours. Thank you, Papa. Tell me about our house. How does it look? How big is it? Well, our house is not very big, or it would be such an effort to leave you at home and go to a workshop. So I have converted half the house into the magnificent toy workshop. Do you know, ours is the grandest toy workshop in the entire kingdom. Our kind master pleads with me to move to a bigger home. But such a grand workshop come home should suffice, don't you think? Oh, yes, Papa, I do love it. <laughs> Lying to your daughter again, Caleb. <laughs> I told you, our master's son is so funny. Yeah, you should see how he is winking at me, and you should see his mischievous smile. <laughs> Yes, master. Here, father has sent you your payment. But this is only, he has cut your salary for the two days you took off work. But I made up for it by working longer. Can my father help me to be so slow? <sighs> And in this way, the years went by, and Bertha grew up hearing stories of how her father was a handsome, healthy man, how he was paid a big salary by his kind master, how her home looked so grand, and how she wore some of the prettiest dresses in town. Here's your salary. How long did it advance? It is Bertha's birthday in a few weeks. Get her another piece of trash and convince her that it is gold. She believes anything you say. Give me an advance and I shall work thrice as much for the next six months. Start the work and then we shall see. So it came to be, Caleb slogged for months and was finally able to earn enough to buy his daughter a pretty necklace. But just to make Bertha feel more loved, he lied to her. Happy birthday, darling. Here. What is this, Papa? This is a necklace. Master Tackleton brought it especially for you. He really was very sad that he couldn't be here to wish you. If his father was kind, Tackleton Jr. is even more so. He really is very fond of you. He is very kind. Hearing about the kindness of her master's son, Bertha was secretly harboring affection for him. She thought that the master's son genuinely cared for her. Then one day... Hey, Bertha, I hear you have some friends coming over to see you today. Yes, why? I would like to join you. Surely, I should be delighted. Yes, I want my fielding to have some more company of women. Once I marry her, she would love to have friends around here. What? Have your ears to stop hearing? I'm getting married. Huh? Looks like it is time to tell her the truth. Oh my, she's gonna hate you. Father, have you seen May Fielding? Yes. Is she pleasant in manner and behavior? Is she kind? Very. Kinder than I. Bertha. I thought Tackleton Jr. liked me. Why else would he send me a gift for my birthday? And why else would he be so kind to me all my life? Goodness, are you hurt? My angels don't make me do this. Don't make me hurt my daughter even more. She will hate me when she hears that I've been lying to her. Maybe, Father. 
Being blind, I do not deserve to be loved. I deserve only to be looked at with compassion. No, not at all, Bertha. I have been lying to you all my life. Will you be able to forgive me? Lie to me? About what? And Caleb told her everything. How he had lied to her all her life about their home, about their life, about their master. You grieve for a man who does not deserve your love. I am sorry. Please will you forgive me? I was only trying to make you happy. In that I know I realize I have hurt you even more. Will you ever be able to forgive me, my dear? Father, I thought you were my eyes, that you have kept me blinder than what I am. Didn't you trust me to be strong? I could have helped you make our lives better. I am sorry. I should have trusted you. But I couldn't bear to hurt you and show you what a miserable existence we had. I know what you did was to make me happy. All the pain you bore, all alone, just to see me smile. Thank you so much. But promise me, now you will let me take care of you. You will let me help you, and you will treat me not as a hapless blind person, but rather your princess who is strong and wise. I promise. And so it came to be. The toy maker let Bertha help in making toys. And soon they made enough money to buy a house of their own. But kudos to Bertha. She could have bewailed her fate and kept feeling miserable about her life. But instead, she chose to forgive her father and make her own life together. This is true strength and courage, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>